Welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, then welcome to the channel. This is a very special video today because I'm going to be unboxing and doing a demo of something that is a one-off. Uh, this is made by Lambs Labs, uh, by The Lamb. You may remember him some, from other videos. If you don't know who it is, then there will be links in the description. But he made uh, the Hutch Fuzz effect that is in my uh, Switch Hall guitar. You can see videos on that everywhere. And he also made my 4Banger, which is a MIDI controller that controls my Boss RC500, which I use all the time. Uh, this is a result of a competition that he did, where the winner could uh, design their own effects pedal to their own specifications. They worked with Lamb. He built the pedal for them, completely bespoke. Bespoke? That's a word. Um, so this is a one-of-a-kind, not another one in the world, uh, effects pedal. I'm going to unbox it for you. I'm going to put it through its paces. It's been sent to me because the guy that won it doesn't have a YouTube channel or anything like that, and they wanted to, me to review it and give my opinion on it and everything else, so I'm really thankful for that, so thank you very much. Uh, please do go and follow The Lamb. Link's in the description. He has a website too if you want, are interested in anything like this and having this done for yourself. He's a very, very cool guy, very, very clever, and uh, I'm sure he could sort you out. So link's in the description. Please go and do that. Thank you. Right, so here goes. You know it's someone that builds something when they use gaffer tape to put their parcels together. It's awesome. Okay, so let's get in this thing. We all love an unboxing, don't we? Okay. So it's come very well packaged. As you'd expect. Throw that away. More gaffer tape. Bubble wrap. Love it. <laughs> Okay. Oh, try and get it out of the light. There you go. So this is it. Try and get a good thing of it. Obviously, I had it upside down. Okay. So this is obviously for a battery supply, so he's got a power supply. That's quite handy, that's cool. That's quite cool, I like that. That's a handy thing to have. So I can put a 9 volt, nine volt battery on there, as well as use a 9 volt normal boss type power supply, I should imagine. It is, like a purpley blue colour. It's got two switches, I know this. It's got four knobbly knob knobs. I do have instructions on it all on the Discord, so I'll go through that right now. So before we get into what it does, I just want to say the quality of everything feels really, really good. All the knobs feel nice and smooth. There's no, nothing loose. The switches are definite. And I love these uh, retro LEDs here, which is great. Um, metal jack sockets, which I like. Everything just about it feels quality. Um, nothing rattles. It's lovely. It's called the unofficial source because the winner was unofficial BHB, who runs the Brent Hutchison Band YouTube channel. And um, source, I don't know. We'll find out. Right on the pedal, we have an orange light and we have a red light. Now, from reading the instructions, I understand that the orange—no, that's the orange. The orange is a Hutch Fuzz circuit. Same as what's in my switch hall guitar, and this is what they're what they're calling a red source circuit. So it has two. It's basically two pedals in one. Uh, this is the control for the hutch fuzz, and this is the volume control for the red source. And then we have a gain and a tone guitar in that way. The right guitar guitar in the right, out the left power supply. That's it. Awesome. Um, do feel it could use some rubber feet, but uh, not hard to sort out. The Hutch Fuzz circuit is pretty self-explanatory, really. It is a fuzz effect, and it is a out-of-control fuzz effect. It's the most warm and smooth and out-of-control and off-the-planet fuzz effect I've ever had, and I absolutely love it. Um, the red source, this is what the lamb has sent me. So the red circuit, the source, is perfect in every way. <laughs> There's a ton of sound because all the controls are wide range. Don't start with all at the middle. The layout is gain, tone, volume, as we know. You will want the volume at about 3 o'clock. More, uh, more will clean boost the front end of the amp 
just a little. Start with tone at 12 o'clock. If you turn to the right, you cut the highs. Turn to the left, you will boost the highs. Start with gain at zero and turn up the gain slowly. It's tube sc screamery. That's a word. Tube screamery. Up until about 10 o'clock and then it just keeps going. If you go too far, it will feed back and squeal. But that's all part of the fun. Sounds great. Layout is typical pedal. Input on the right, output on the left. The orange hutch fuzz circuit is first. Red source circuit is second. And of course, you can hit both together for fuzz and source. It's nuts. Okie dokie. So I've got this going through my 5 watt uh, amp head into a Celestian Vintage 30 mic'd up with the SE mic. Um, it's uh, like a British rock sound. Clean. Which is gonna, this is gonna be in front of that. So this is in front of that. So we're gonna start with the red source circuit. I'm gonna put it onto humbucker. Okay. So we've got the gain at about 10 o'clock, I think roughly, and the tone at about nine o'clock, and volume just over halfway. This is the red source. <laughs> Now that's quite a lot of gain. It's nice and clean and crunchy. I like that. Uh, so I'm going to put the gain up now to about, say, let's go one o'clock. Alright, I'm going to take it all the way around now to about 3 o'clock. Oh, could you hear that? <laughs> so it's getting uh, kind of fuzzy a little bit. Let's go all the way. Mind your ears. Oh, there's the feedback that I was promised. <laughs> right, so if you don't want that feedback, you just dial the gain off a little bit. Alright, so the sound I like is that this one. Chuck some wire on this. So we're on the fuzz side of it now. This is the Hutch fuzz. This is it as the uh, with the same settings as I just did with the hot source. Stick some wah on this. Uh, quite nice, uh, but what you can do with this, obviously, is you can have them both running together. So this is uh, the my favourite hot source setting, just kicking in the hutch fuzz with it, so this is both together. Going back to the hutch fuzz, so we've got just the hutch fuzz, no wah. Uh, I'm just going to bring the tone up a little. 
So we stuck that on about 12 o'clock. Still on the humbucker. That's actually cut in the highs, right? Gain is on uh, around 10 o'clock. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut uh, all the lows. So I'm going to put all the highs onto the hutch fuzz and put the gain up. Like this. That is all out. And there it is, the unofficial source. It's basically two pedals in one. You get a hutch fuzz and you get the red source. I really like the red source. The tube screamer is my kind of pedal. It's what I always used to push at the front of my amps uh, when I was gigging and stuff like that. And it's basically what I use now when I'm doing my Twitch streams. This is awesome. Go and check out the lamb at Lamb Labs. Link in the description to his website. Alternatively, come and join us on the Discord where you can talk to him yourself if you're interested in having a pedal like this. Uh, this is the prototype, one of a kind. Well done, Mark, for winning it. And you can talk to him about your what you want. He will build stuff around what you, you require, I suppose. Anyway, um, so don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like this kind of video. Helps me out in a big way. We're gunning for the 5,000 subs. Also, come and follow me on Twitch, where I do loads and loads of live performances. Very cool stuff going on over there. Uh, not much more to say, except... Peace. Until next time. Freddy. <sighs> He's passed out again. I'll cue the jingle. See you later. One, two, three, four. If you like my YouTube show Hit like and comment and get involved If you dig my vibe Then hit subscribe And never miss an episode Of my YouTube show Next time.